Hey everyone. Sorry about that. I was counting um, how long the delay is from the time that I pushed the start button. <laughs> Turns out the delay is 35 seconds. So in case you ever wondered, that's about how much the video's delayed. Hi, Frida, Melissa, Chow, Deborah. So I've got, um, I bought this stuff from a uh, not too shabby shop. I don't know a few weeks ago and I haven't really had time to mess with it but I just love 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 the paper and stuff so I thought we'd make a shaker card so and I did get into the paper because it's what I used for my excuse me my craft roulette um, card but such cute paper oh my god so yeah you see I've torn it up we've got all double-sided so this one let me zoom a bit and let me make sure I'm in frame there that's better I think <laughs> hi Randy um, it's got these chocolate ice creams and yummy goodness and and then again on a white background it's got these spotted things and these gummy bears aren't they cute I love the gummy bears. Hi, Jeanette. Um, just some kind of plain and then more sweet goodness. My fingers aren't wanting to work for me here today. More sweet goodness and then a, just kind of a cool, funky background. Um, more cool, funky backgrounds. Little zigzaggy things. All kind of, they reminded me, the colors in this reminded me of our prompt of the tea party. So that's why I used them for my crap roulette card. But I've got them coming apart here because I'm rough on my paper. Rough. Oh, gummies. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. I think I've gone through the round. There's some gummies on a pink background. Some more zigzags, some spots. Bananas, just in case you wanted a banana split. <laughs> oh, this these papers are clever. But all um, coordinate with each other. And coordinate with, I guess, everything else that maybe came, you know, that was designed to go with it. I got this and I got the ephemera. And these are my scraps here. And then I got the spring gingham because, I mean, come on, it's gingham. <laughs> who doesn't love gingham and I don't know if I'll use it or not and then I've got the ephemera die cut pieces and I just I kind of laid them out here oh man my video is really fuzzy hang on oh yeah I have it on 360 higher picture quality please so I can see oh, come on Um, how about a specific resolution? How about 720p? Thank you. All right. <laughs> there. That's better. I can see it a little more clearly. I have them kind of separated into their little groups. So we have these. Uh, these are who I fell in love with, or these little waitresses. I mean, come on. Aren't they adorable? So there's a red-haired waitress and she's already got a tray then there's a white haired ra waitress a brown haired waitress and a black haired waitress so I love those I love those they are definitely going in the card so I kind of want to make it a uh, sort of a cafe scene and then I've got all my shakers and so um, I either get my shaker bits from Trinity stamps or I get them from this calls for confetti and then I bought these little these little guys with that whole box thing that you can get yeah these are trinity stamps these are actually from valentine's day but i thought they'd be cute inside just because the color and then i've got these little candy ones and these um gummy bear breakfast ones and then these little black and white ones and i've got my favorite black and white washies so gonna start by thinking about the composition of how it's gonna look because it's gonna be a shaker right let me just move these aside here and let's get 
let's get a piece of paper. And this is just so that I can compose the card. Um, I think I'm gonna make it an oval. So if I just think that there's gonna be an oval shape in there, I definitely want a waitress, definitely. And then she's gonna go right about there and uh, she's gonna have a tray and I don't want the tray covering her face because she's too pretty. And I think for me, I want a burger, some ketchup, and a beer. <laughs> I think these are beer, they might be tea. <laughs> oh yeah, they're iced tea. Okay, that, then I'm gonna have a burger and iced tea, not a beer. <laughs> Hi Star. And then there's all sorts of, you, you know, I could change my mind and do coffee. And I might, I might change my mind, let's see. So that's cute, that could be one card. But let's just say I would rather have a cake. Where did it, where's the cake? I know the cake's here somewhere. Well, I can't see. Maybe I'm gonna have a big old coffee with whipped cream. And I'm gonna have a cupcake with a cherry on it. And a strawberry for good measure. Let's find the small. So, so these ephemera are in small and lar larger sizes. No, I don't want a strawberry. Oh, there's the cake. Yeah, I'd rather have a big old slice of cake, you know? I mean, if I'm going to go and be served at a restaurant, I am going to eat. <laughs> You'll have a beer, hi, Crystal. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go something like that. So what we need to do is we need to start out by creating our shaker panel. So I'm going to set these out of my way so I don't make a mess. And I'm, I want, obviously I want paper. Um, but I want to put the paper on this heavier paper simply because, um, I mean, this is not super lightweight, but I don't necessarily feel like it's heavy enough either. Um, and I don't want to use anything too, I kind of want to use those gummy bears. I'm going to go with this one here. I just, I like my cards nice and sturdy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down really well. And find my tape runner. Uh, I don't want to use my glue stick because I'll get it too wet. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use quite a bit of tape because I'm going to be cutting a hole in this. It's okay if I get it a little off because I'm going to trim it down. Save those scraps. And that's quite a ways off, so let's do this down to four. I want to do five and a quarter. So now I've got a nice sturdy backer here. 
and then I'm going to need to cut an oval into it. Is that one going to be big enough? Maybe a bigger one. And these are Infinity Dies from Hero Arts. And I have uh, most stuff linked down below. So another reason you would want a sturdy is if you're going to have a nice big aperture window like this, you don't want wimpy paper on the sides. So I just have to think about that I'm going to need to have a quarter inch of my foam tape on each side. And the blade is actually on the inside of this. So will that go? Yes, it will. Okay. So I'm going to make this up just a little bit higher so that these sides are all equal. And track down my mint tape. I'm telling you guys, major life changes for me right now. My uh, work where I work decided to restructure and they're outsourcing pretty much everyone. So those of us in the U.S., some people will still keep their jobs. Well, they'll have basically new, new roles. Um, everything else is gonna be overseas. So um, they gave us the option to leave. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's make sure that cut through because I had some pretty heavy paper there. Yep, it did. bend on me. There we go. Now how did I get that dirty? Oh, I didn't. It's just dust. Okay, we can do dust. So we're still going to keep this like yay. Okay. I have to get my acetate on here and I'm going to be using my Harrow Arts acetate that I am sure that I got out before this video because I like to be prepared. Now I can't find it. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Where is it? Where did I put it? Huh. <laughs> this is what I do. I get all my stuff out and then lose it. Is it under here? No. It's only, I mean, I have a piece of acetate right here, but it's not perfectly clean. I guess it's going to have to do because I just put that, grab that stuff and put it somewhere that I don't know where. <laughs> so I'm going to cut that. First of all, let's just clean it. That's some piece of acetate I use to test stamp. I'm just cleaning this with an alcohol wipe. I'm not sure what that is. That, that part won't even show though. Okay, so I need to trim it. Yeah, it um, actually, you know, I mean, businesses do that all the time, and a lot of tech companies are doing that right now. Um, you can't, honestly, you can't fault them for making business decisions to make them money. It is a for-profit company, but ouch, you know? <laughs> like, I've worked there for almost 10 years. Got to cut this side down. 
For me, um, I see it as a positive change. I've been crying about wanting to retire for a while now. And it's mostly, you know, it's a financial thing, you know. When you retire, you don't get a bunch of money. So, for me, it's just I have to change my lifestyle. And I can do that. Mike and I discussed it, and we... We figured a way. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that because that gives me more time to play and cook. And yes, exactly. Um, that's the thing is that a lot of you know a lot of my peers, the you know my coworkers are young families, and I, that's what made me cry and makes me depressed about the whole situation. I'm not depressed for myself at all, but um, yesterday I heard that 42 supervisors were basically whacked. And um, you know what? A lot of my friends are supervisors, including my own supervisor, who I love very much. Um, he didn't say, when I worked today, he didn't say, if he was one of the ones. And now, I don't want the rest of that sticky right now, so I'm just gonna go over it with my little anti-static tool. <laughs> that stuff is terrible. There we go. Clean that off. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I'm going to put the only thing is is that maybe my tape's not going to stick to that now either. We'll find out here in a minute. This is, um, gosh, where did I get this? Maybe Whimsy stamp. It's a double thick foam tape. when I can't remember where I got something, but I'm, I'm almost positive I got it from Whimsy Stamp. I'm waiting on my tape from Pear Blossom Press, which is easy tear tape um, that's, you know, repositionable for a little while. I mean, if you're taping this down to acetate, it's kind of repositionable too. But it's, you know, it does a good job of been going around the curve and stuff. I want this to come a little more curved. Go here. Hi, Diane. Okay, that's nice and closed. And then we'll do these here. You know, I'm hoping to have more time to dedicate to doing more YouTubes, uh, more with my junk journal stuff. Um, I played with that stuff all day today, other other than working. I had to work yesterday. Yesterday we got the news at work, and then we were expected to get back on the phones. And I'm like, nah, I'm going to flex. So, it, you know, that's... I mean, there are a lot of good benefits to working for the company, like like being able to flex um, from work, which means you basically can take a couple of hours off and make them up, like after work or on your day off or whatever, 
so there, there were a lot, a lot of great benefits to my job, including my medical benefits, and that's the only thing that's a little bit scary. But there's a COBRA plan, so hopefully I'll be able to keep that until I'm 65 when I can get Medicare. Okay. So, what I want to do here is what I'm hoping for anyway. I want to place this in, in this hole, line it up best I can. And I'm going to take another piece of, and this is just accent opaque, 120 pound. Uh, let me think this through here a minute. I think that's not going to work because this is larger. So I'm just going to have to dink with it until I get it where I want it. This is going to go here. Grab my glue. <laughs> I'm 62. I'm going to be 63 in August. I might do that. I might go that way, Jeanette, rather than try and draw my Social Security. I'll be able to draw an employment for a little while. I might grab another job because, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of, that's what I was, oh, shoot, I moved it. That's what I was waiting for was to turn 65. That's why I kept on working. Don't move. Do not move. straight. Let me pick it up and look at it. I'm looking at it from a weird angle, so yeah, yeah, I do. Now, question is, I know I want shaker bits in here, but do I want anything else in here? <sighs> okay. Let's grab my girl here and think about that a minute. She's going to be here. She can poke out a little bit. Oh, so cute. Here, here. And these are just kind of rough, right? Do I want anything else back there? Yes, I want the menu. I want the menu right there. And this one, I want to make sure it's glued down really well so my shaker bits don't get stuck in it. So I'm getting it all the way to the edge. Grab a paper towel. Hi, Ramona. Hi, Ginger. There is a um, there is a severance package, so my plan, my grand plan, is to use that to because first of all I get a fifty percent discount working for Verizon, and that's going to be gone. Um, my grand plan is to pay off my phones, and any Mike, I'm live. Huh? I'm live. He's so forgetful. Anyway, <laughs> pay off my credit card debt and stuff so that I don't have, you know, any extra expenses. All right, so now we've got our shaker bits. Wait, I want my candy and my black and white one. I love these. They're adorable. I don't need too many of them, though. Let's make sure that when I put my this down that those aren't 
touching because if they're touching, they're going to be annoying. Nope, they're fine. Okay. Let's get some little exos. Yeah, we'll definitely put some bling in here. These are little clay bits. So if you get a kit like that with the ephemera and stuff, you, you could make probably 20 cards out of it. You sure couldn't buy 20 cards for that price. So the shaker bits, that uh, these shaker bits are from Trinity Stamps. These shaker bits are from This Calls for Confetti. These shaker bits are from This Calls for Confetti. So they're from both places. Put a little bit of... You know what, I want to make sure that when I'm doing this, I'm in the right color range. So I know that's kind of weird, but I'm kind of weird like that. Do a little pink. Don't want the green one. Do want the pink one. a bunch of these these ones I'm gonna do you know quite a few sequins too just some fun some fun pieces in there um but there's not any real purple in in anything else so that's why I'm not choosing purple let's see what we have here these are little clouds little clouds and little stars so we'll throw a couple little clouds in there stuck to my finger. Not too much. Okay, and then we'll go for the bling. And I've got this kind of green color that really kind of coordinates with it. I'm not putting any glitter here. I don't think. And then I've got this little pink color that coordinates with it. I've got that Uptown Funk song stuck in my head. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Oh, I think my friend posted a a mashup of Shirley Temple dancing to it. These are from um, these are from Trinity Stamps, and they're in too many. They're in a lot of sizes, so I'm going to pour them out into something so I can pick and choose. See, I don't want these giant pearls in there because it'll just stop it up. But the little pearls are okay. Maybe, if I can see what color that is. Uh-uh, not dinking with that pearl, no. <laughs> Got these little clear ones. <laughs> Those are the ones I'm after, is the kind of clear ones. And the iridescent ones. I'll throw a shell in there, I don't mind. Shells are okay. This little pack. This is this pack is called Ocean Jellyfish. It's got some really pretty pastel-y colors in it that mesh well with this set. So there we go. Got all those parts. Now I need to carefully place this on, and I'm going to go ahead and go around the sticky part with my anti-static tool. Wipe off any excess. If 
apparently Amanda's tape isn't hard to put, pick this backer stuff off. This stuff's kind of hard to pick off. It wants to stay stuck. So you, I didn't either, Diane, and honestly, you don't have to buy it from like a fancy online store. You can get plenty of it at the dollar store. Confetti, like sequins and stuff. To try it out and see if you like enjoy making it. Sometimes they're, you know, they're not like super simple to do, but they're not hard. These kind are harder than the flat shakers but they also have more options of what you can put inside as far as height goes. Oh my gosh, this stuff is impossible to pick off. Come on. There we go. It's just my fingers. Make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing here. And then, this one is overlapped a little bit, so I'm just going to push it in there. And this one should be easy to get off because it's all bent up. And I'm going to put glue here so I have a little wiggle room. And a shaker card will dress up anything. All right, now I'm going to stand up so I can get myself right down over it here. There we go. bunch up. There we go. All right, now, see, I made it move when I did that. No, I didn't. I've just got it crooked a little. Good thing it's up higher, so you can't really tell. Let's get our girl down. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> now I'm just going to glue this side. and then if you ever have like a little edge like that I have sometimes when you buy ephemerates like that I have one of those little sanding discs I just sand them off But sometimes the, they get kind of caught at the manufacturer. Um, I am going to fussy cut this down to the, to the lines. I'm so glad you feel better. Yes, you're right, Diane. Trim off the bigger side. That reminds me of the haircuts. Um, and when I say that, what I'm talking about is um, back in the day, when I used to cut somebody's hair, or somebody was cutting my hair, and one side was uneven. <laughs> okay, well, let me just trim the other side and make it even. And then, oh, oops, that's uneven. Let me trim the other side, and then pretty soon, somebody's plopping a bowl on your head. <laughs> and that's your haircut. <laughs> Yeah, I like that better, a little bit fussy cut. Um, I do want to pop it up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me find my <clears throat> flat poppers. Y'all, if you haven't tried this orange cream bubbly, oh, it's to die for. 
It's like having a creamsicle with no sugar or anything. <laughs> and doing something healthy for your body all at the same time. So these little, these little um, foam squares are super, super thin. And I like it. I like it a lot. And watch. I just love that these just flip right off. <laughs> Alright, let's grab my tweezers here so I get it in the right spot. It's going to have to be in the right spot now because it's stuck. <laughs> Hi Marva! <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to fussy cut the cake and the coffee, but I am going to trim it down a bit. It's just a little too high for me. Um, I'm not a big fan of white margins. I mean, sometimes, you know, they're important. Um, but in this case, I'd rather have just a smaller margin. I mean, a lot of it is really, you know, detailed, so. Yeah, I thought I'd just fussy cut live on camera here. <laughs> I bought, I fussy cut about a hundred roses these last few days at work. Um, it got real busy though. I, it, it, if we get busy, I can't do that. But when we're not busy, I mean, I gotta do something. I have to sit there with a headset attached to my neck, so, and my ears. And I can only look at Instagram and Facebook for so long before I'm like, yeah, I'm bored now. Cake. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, Marva, you got the dragonfly bundles? <laughs> Did you get the big one or the small one? There's so much in that kit to do. <laughs> That's where I'm looking forward to retirement, is actually using my stuff. And I've been telling you guys all along that a lot of the stuff I buy, and I buy a lot, I'm saving for my retirement. <laughs> so I'll have to, in order to really get a lot of decent craft supplies, I'll have to get myself on some good design teams <laughs> to keep myself from spending our food money or my medication money. Oh, you got the mini kit? Um, awesome. Okay, almost. I'm going to have to figure out a sentiment of some sort. I didn't buy the stamp set. I'm overloaded with stamps right now. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> You guys know that I don't typically do a lot of really cute stuff, but <sighs> come on. <laughs> this is adorable. I am trying to broaden my horizons. <laughs> So I put a little piece of foam tape on the top of that so that it's equal, even with the plate. And then I'm going to pop the coffee up higher. So then I have these little foam squares that are hot taller. Where are they? Well, I had little white ones. I must have used them all. Or I can double up. It doesn't really matter. But I'll just use the black ones. No big deal. I know, and you know who got me onto this one was Bitty Penny. She had that, got that kit out, and I'm like, I'm in love with that kit. I have to have it. 
the ephemera and the paper. Kind of wished I'd have got the stamps, and I still can, but. All right, let's be very mindful because this will stick and I don't want to lose my whole cake. Uh, yeah. I want this over a little because the cake's popped up a bit. There we go. And we definitely need some blingity bling bling on the coffee. I mean on the whipped cream. This is a glitter gloss pen, Nouveau. Yeah, Nouveau. Oh, my. Uh, because I put glue on it, I guess. Oh, pretty. Let's gloss up those strawberries, too. Oh. And a little eyeliner. <laughs> okay, now. <sighs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> Got all the shakety bits. We need a sentiment. So what I took out, um, I got, I won this. Um, on oh gosh, it was Colorado Craft Company release blog hot, and I won this, and I thought maybe hello there would be perfect. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Marva. Thank you, Irma. They sold out of what? They sold out of the um, big one, Marva, of the uh, dragonflies. So I think I will stamp this on. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Where's my scraps? Mm, no. My other scraps. Not bananas. Not that. This too matchy matchy. Okay, I'm going to have to get into my not scraps. It won't stand out on the polka dots, but, oh, I know, I have an idea, okay. Let me trim this down, well, let me stamp first, let's get that part done. And I'm not taking any risks, I'm getting out my mini misty. Even though I'm just going to stamp this down on white paper. Take those guys out of the way. Get a piece of white. I always leave my myself lots of room <laughs> for mistakes. And I'm going to get my embossing. So I'm going to heat emboss that because it's going to be wet <laughs> and I won't be able to work with it until it dries. Yes, perfect. I love this little font. Hope I don't lose power. <laughs> I know, I couldn't resist putting bling on her eyes. You're right, Karen. There we go. Now I'm thinking about this because I have here this little flag that I think will. Cut it out perfectly. Yes, yes. 
this? Yes. And where did this flag come from? I don't know. It was one of my very first die sets that I thought I could use a rolling pen to cut things out. I'm not joking either. <laughs> I had no idea. That's when I went to YouTube. Oh, you got that. Thing. Oh, you're welcome. You know what I realized? I couldn't remember if I put a card in there or not. I have the worst memory, you guys. I swear. I can remember stuff from, you know, 20 years ago, but short-term memory is shot. Okay, I'm going to cut this out. It's probably a die from Joanne. But I want to back it with the pretty paper. What did, did I just choose one? I thought I did. Apparently I didn't. Here we go, this one right here. trim with scissors oh goody yes yes Pam a rolling pin like in the kitchen <laughs> I didn't know how to do it so yeah I, I tried everything I could and then um, I bought my first die cutting machine which was the um, we are memory keepers evolution it's still in a closet and that was that was like three years ago. Let me think about how I won't be able to trim this with my scissors. I can fussy cut some things, but some things, <laughs> I'm going to try it though. Yes, ma'am, I am. Yep, I didn't get it straight. That's okay. That's okay, right? Now, how do I want it? Where do I want it? Oh, here we go. feel like it's too busy. <laughs> you guys. Oh, you did, Melissa? <laughs> well, if I pop it up, or if I pop it under, nope, I don't like it there. Okay, here we go. You guys know me and how I struggle with sentiments. I kind of like it there. I don't know why. Modesty? No. <laughs> Where should I put it, you guys? <laughs> no, I didn't see it somewhere. I just couldn't figure out how you could press hard enough to make it cut the paper. And I have, um, I have a rolling pin that's made of marble. So I thought if I rolled that rolling pin over it, um, it would be heavy enough to cut in, put enough pressure to cut into the paper, but I was wrong. It didn't work. <sighs> I'm stuck, you guys. Where do I put the sentiment? Left hand, bottom corner, like here. I really struggle with sentiments. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that up too, but not too high. I'm going to use the low poppers. Where to put my poppers?
The secret to cutting cardstock straight. Well, I'll tell you the best thing to do is don't is use the I'll show you here in a second. Let's get this guy down. I think I'm going to put some bling on the outside of this. Um, when you're cutting your cardstock, pay attention. Don't pay, don't pay attention to these guides. Pay attention to these lines, the lines in your trimmer. Okay, that's going to get you a straight cut. And then when you're cutting, if you're using a chopper like this, what it tends to do, if you don't hold this correctly, is it tends to... Let me see if I can get it to do it. No, it's not going to do it this time, but sometimes at the end it pulls the paper over a little. So you want to, when you're cutting, you want to hold, you want to choose that line, get it lined up on that line, and hold here and here so that this doesn't move. Rolling pin cutting, it doesn't work though, Karen. <laughs> It does not work. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's throw some bling on the outside of this and call it a day. <clears throat> oh, here it is. <coughs> I'm going to use these ocean jellyfish. I need my little tool. feel like it's kind of bottom heavy now. I might need to do up top there. Do, 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 do. Trying to get this purple one just for Frida. It's too big though. I need a smaller purple one. There we go. Yeah, that balances it out. The thin foam squares are from Simon Says Stamps, so they come in black or white, and they come in thin or thick. So I don't know if you can see the difference there, but th these are like double what these are. And I'm going to be sad when I run out, because I really, really like those. Oops, don't you fall over. Do, do, do. Hopefully I've stayed in frame for you guys this whole time. My head hasn't gotten in the way too much. Oh, you have a lightning storm? Oh, how fun. Yeah, so let me bring the card up closer for you. And this again, I use the um, paper pack. Hey, you know, I don't know the name of it by heart. A sweet split, six by six, from Not Too Shabby Shop. And then the ephemera pack, which is. Oh, where did I put the wrapper? I put the wrapper somewhere and I don't know where now. 
Well, here it is. Uh, ephemera die cut pieces. Doesn't say. My little cafe, it does say. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Have a happy, safe holiday weekend. And I will see you guys around the rooms. Bye-bye.